Okay, so recording is on. Welcome everyone. It's Doc's Office Hours. It's the 30th of August. Uh, sorry, it's the 1st of September in India Standard Time. And uh, 30, is that right? Or is it 31st no. of August? No, it's 31st 30. of August. Sorry, 31st of August, yes. India Standard Time. And, uh, and be good to each other. We abide by the Jenkins uh, Code of Conduct. So topics that were on my list were review the 2.309 automated change log and propose improvements to the 2.308 change log. So this is, this is our first experience with the change log automation. What we have is we've got, and I'm gonna share my screen and let's look at what we've got there. So what we have is a This is GHPR list. So the pull request is 4525. And if we look at it, what it comes in automation wise is it looks like this. And there are comments there, but there are things inside this pull request or inside, this is what it looks like when rendered on screen. So no proposed change log for 5682. And I think that means we really need one or we need to list it as skip change log. And it doesn't show skip change log. And Oleg says the change log looks good. Oh, but this is not. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to adjust this one to, because the change log automation didn't get it correct. So we need to fix that so that this will have a proposed change log. Now, one way to do it is probably to insert the text. Well, I don't know which to do. All right, I, I, I mean, we could insert the text into this that is the boilerplate for a, a change log. Like, let's see, let's see if we can grab one that has, yeah. So propose change log entries Let's grab this. So comment, comment, proposed change log entries, proposed upgrade guidelines. So back to this one, we could do this. And now we need to go find a similar pull request And okay, bump JNA from okay, so fifty six eighty two. So what we're looking for is the text of fifty six eighty two. Okay, so here's, whoops. That didn't help me. There, here's an example. Okay, so how do we get the automated change log to have that content? Any bright ideas? We could edit the YAML file directly, but then the next run of the automation will probably wipe out our, our reference. I guess that's still likely the most effective way to do it till I get a chance to talk with. Okay, so it would be here. 
And this would then be 5682. So this would be release five. Change log. Sorry, go ahead. What was that? So the automatic change log does not add this references tag, right? By itself. Doesn't seem to, at least as far as I could tell. Hmm. And we want to add that, right? That, well, so that's what I was thinking. And now the question is, should this thing, it was categorized as developer and that makes sense to me. It should be a developer change log. So that's what I was thinking we should do. Say, all right, it's an RFE developer, so we need to put it at the bottom. Uh, it is PR5381. Is that the correct pull request? Fifth, no, it's 5682. Ah, there we go, right. Here are its references, a link to the change log, and let's test that, that the link actually works. It did, okay, good. So the, the other alternative would be, I mean, I would hope that someday the automation would be able to generate those kind of reference links for us, but it certainly didn't this time. Hmm. Oh, also, side issue, should we spell out Java native access or is that really that commonly understood? Uh, where would you like it spelled out here in the title? I just, or yeah, or, or it's either the title or the description you know, you could say bump Java native access parents JNA. Like that. Maybe it's maybe it's just my ignorance, but yeah, I I like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's the, rest of the, the challenge is it's a library, and libraries that that's a that's a generated string from Dependabot. But I I think you're right. It's certainly clear uh -huh. to the user if it's if we do that instead of just using the in the that short name yeah. okay then we've got i i did search the jenkins io doc and didn't find any real information about it so okay you know there there were a couple of other like change log things in there or something but there wasn't anything that explained what it is or why i care right <laughs> right and yeah i'll shut up now no, it's good, good feedback. Very good. Okay, so the so, next, oh, go ahead, Diraj. Yes, so I was just wondering, maybe while writing the uh, automation script, we can do things like whenever we come across a developer a category entry, we would want to insert a references uh, tag and uh, in that we can directly put the value of pull uh, as the pull that we have received previously and url will be oh url cannot be automated easily i don't know that's i think it's a good question because it might let's look at the mm -hmm. source code for this because that url may be in here somewhere and we just have to look for it Okay. So the word release occurs twice. No, I don't. Okay, so I, I don't see a reference to the tag, but let's look for other. Okay, so there's a pull request. Bug fixes, commits. See, I don't see a, a reference to the release. Let's see, maybe I'm just not looking well enough. Okay, in the change log. Yeah, see this, oh, oh. 
there it is. Okay, so here is the link to the change log. But what it lacks is it lacks. So, so there is a link here. So conceivably, right. the tool could uh, mm -hmm. could extract that hyperlink that is in here. Let's let's look at it now. So this hyperlink right here could be extracted. Now, and why NBA. don't we link to that in? Oh, we do. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what we're using. So we just need to append the release num latest release number at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. So if this had been um, release something, yeah, where was it? If this had been release dash five ninety, it would have mm -hmm. been directly usable. Yeah. And it's it's still usable even even without that release dash five ninety ninety. So when I expand this, if I open that in a new tab. It takes me to the exact same right place. So, so conceivably, this could be used, and then this link would just have, would not have the release 590 in it. Whoops. It would just be missing that part. Good. Okay. Yes. So there's, there's, I think there's good potential there. Now, now there's a, another one here, this one. So the second one on the list is this RFE internal. And it appears that it's inserted the word internal twice. Let's see if I can see it. So. See this internal internal. And I assume right. that's the generator putting the word internal and then the original description had the word internal as well. So here, one thing we could do is change this text. Now, on the next run, that will remove one internal. Okay, what is PR? Okay, I'm missing something here. So I, we've got a thing I called P. This. Oh, go ahead. What's that? So, so I asked about PR title to Tim, ja, uh, Tim sorry. So he suggested that he says said that uh, it's um, it doesn't do anything. It just came from the JSON because I was oh. also curious, like where are we using it? So we are not using it anywhere. Okay, so it is not being used. Hmm. So yes. the change there won't help. Changing it to not use the back quoted markup won't help. Okay, hmm. good. All right, and this one is used, and it's using the correct HTML markup. Okay, so ant class loader. Yeah, okay, good. So we've got an entry for 5682. And we've got an entry for 5687. Now these two are both developer and internal, so they actually belong at the bottom. And now I'm going to reload that, whoops, wrong one, reload that page. Nope, not that one. Reload this page. So it says add aborted threshold, fix missing settings. Here's bump Java native access with its hyperlink. Yes, good, okay. And this one is poll 5687, and it works. Okay, good. 
So now the next challenge is this one right here with the embedded picture and the regression in to do. All right, so I think, well, I don't know what to do with this one because the automation has placed the before and after. I think what we ought to do here is just move the before and after picture. Whoops. Move it outside of the proposed change log entry. For example, if it were placed here, the next time it runs, there's the before, there's the after, and here is the So like that, okay, before, after, and then now the proposed change log entries, the next time that job runs, it would get it correct. And in the interim, we fix it by removing that image stuff. And the regression into do is where is it's fixed, it's logged as a regression fix, but the version where it regressed is not. Oh, okay, so where. Where was the bug report? Because this doesn't tell us which version had it. So do we just make a wild guess? It was, oh, no, no, we don't have to make a guess at all. It was a change previously that modified icons, right? And so we should be able to find it here. Nope, okay. How about something from the same author, Jan Ferecek? So there's use the SVG version of the text icon, so probably 2.307. Okay, so let's guess 2.307. Seem reasonable? Yes. Okay. So, all right, back to look at what our draft looks like. Okay, it says add the aborted threshold to reverse build trigger. Fix the missing settings, cog icon and plugin manager, fix incorrect folder icon showing in projects, regression in. Now, how do we usually lay out the regression in? Yeah, it's parenthesized right before the issue that's being read. Okay, good. So that's consistent. All right, and here bump JNA. 5.8 to 5.9, and then internal class loader and its subclass register themselves as parallel capable. What do you think? Is that acceptable? Um, I think, yes, we have internal at the end and links are working and the co the highlighted ones are there and uh, full stops. Uh, so we don't have full stop the first one. 
Oh, oh, we're missing full stops on the ends of lines. Thank you. Good reminder. Yes. Very good. And our 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 contributors in in uh, China very commonly alert when there is a full stop missing on a line. Thank you. Good catch. Okay, so I think we got full stops everywhere. Let's check it one more time. Uh, full stop there, full stop there. Yep. Okay. Anything else you see that's a mistake? Um, I think the fix missing setting icon is it's a bug, right? It it is, that's correct. And the first add about it is, is just an RFE. Also correct, right. Okay. So uh, I, I might I might be com confused right now, but shouldn't bug be first? Or it's only uh, when we talk about major bugs and RFEs? Uh, no, it's, it's a good point because so in 308, um, RFEs precede bugs. But in 307, bugs precede RFEs. And 307 was the one we edited by hand, right? And it looks like right. all the previous ones we've had generally had bug precede. Well, no, yeah, this one is major. So it, here, here's an RFE. No, and no, let's find a different one. Here's a bug. No, that's a major. Come on, I need something that's got same level. Here we go, a bug, not major, preceding an RFE. So I think you're right, we should move the bug first, like this. Okay, so we've got the bug, fix missing icons, and then we've got the RFE, and then we've got a developer and an issue, and then an internal. Okay, back to looking at how it looks. Okay, fix missing settings, the bug, then the, the RFE, then JNA, and the that's a developer one, and then the internal one. Okay, so far? So which one is developer one? This one right here. Okay, so do we not need the developer uh, semicolon? Oh, we do. And we've used developer before. So yes, it should say developer, shouldn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's try that again. Thank you. Nice catch. Okay, whoops. Except didn't. Okay, now we've got the keyword developer and the keyword internal. Now, one of the things I wanted to check was, is that all of the pull requests that have been merged for this release? So, oh, oh, except that have those that have um, skip change log. So updated at since, that's a skip change log. Bump Makito Core. Okay, it's closed, now, right? This one is, is it closed? Oh, it's closed. You're right. So this one was rejected. Okay. Mm. Whereas fix missing icons, we've seen. This one was also closed. This one was approved and we've seen it. Bump Xtreme was closed. JNA is in the list. Spotless is skip change log and palm.xml is closed. This is skip. Commons IO was already eight days ago. So all of the pull requests that I see here are represented in this list, in the list here. 
Yes. Okay, and now we've got three that are listed as comments, update at since, spotless plugin, and automate the change log. So I think we're ready to submit it. What do you think? I think so too, yes, it looks good. For uh, this Java native access of uh, 5.9.0 change log, do we need to capitalize N and A? Uh, where here? Yes. Above this, above, above this. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Good point. This one, yes. Yes, this one. Like that. Exactly. And and that's that's different than yeah. we've done it in the past, but I think it's consistent. Oh. With Meg's observation that Java native. Okay. JNA is. It is tough because usually you'd make the acronym all uppercase, but if it's actually the library name. Right. In this case, because it's a library name, I hesitate to make it uppercase. Hmm. And I'm is even the library a little actually called JNR. Is it got a suffix of some sort? Uh, no, it, no, it really is just called Java Native Access. It's certainly delivered as a jar, but uh -huh. the library name is Java Native Access. So if we look, um, if we look at the, the other occurrences yeah. in this file of JNA, you'll see sometimes it was rendered as all caps. Actually, it looks like it was consistent. Oh, right. And we expanded it, but it was done here as all caps in the title, but then here always rendered. Unless it's in a path name. Right. Exactly. Uh, there's one where just Java is uppercase and still native access. Uh -huh. 4. Right. 3, I believe. So, um, so do we want to just write JNA 5.9.0 change log or something else? Yeah, I think so, Diraj. I think what you're saying is should we put this to be consistent with the other entries? Yes. Because here it uses JNA 5.4. And the, the, the argument in favor of that is we've already expanded the acronym here on the line. So having done that, this will look like this. Let's take a look at it. So it says job bump Java native access. And then here in the hyperlink is where it uses JNA. Oh. Right. Meg, I believe it's considered okay to expand first and then use acronyms later. I think so, yeah. Okay. Outside of tech, I think that's a standard. In tech, it's weird. All right. Okay. Yeah. Anything else we need to change I have before we. 2.308. Oh, yeah. Are we still on 309? I have something We're still on 309. We'll do 308 as a separate okay. set of fixes. So everybody okay with me committing this one? Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, now this one will yes. highlight a complication for us. Um, I'm going to push something. Whoops. But Diraj, for instance, you won't have permission to do this because I've got permission to write to the 
this repository. And so when I say git push, it's actually going to push. Let's see. I've got to I've got to make that commit message better. Okay, so now if we say git push, and it says the upstream does not match your current. Why not? Git push. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, no. Huh. Okay. Not sure if I'm going to be allowed to do it. So we may have to find another. Okay. So it's not, so we've got this problem. We've created the changes, but now how do we, how do we communicate those changes to others as a proposed change to the pull request? Good question. Yeah, see, I can't do a push because it blocks the push because I assume the dependabot didn't does not allow others to push onto it. Hmm. So how was it done last week? Uh, I don't think it was done. I, well, let's, let's, that's a good question. Let's go look. That's a very good question. So get I have a link with you in the chat. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes. Very so, good. So let's go grab that link. So here is the, this is a link to the change log. Okay. Yes. So they proposed... Okay, I don't see any edits to the change log. Here's the initial yes. commit. Here's a merge, but I don't see any yes. edits. So as far as I can tell, they didn't do any edits. So I think what we, we, we've got to experiment with is how will we edit this thing? And so if we did it, well, let's, let's try an idea. What if we did it like this? What if we said, here's the automated change log and we are going to, okay, so I need to see the files changed. Windstone. I do not understand that one, but I, I don't care. This is the one that I want to make. Well, how do we, how do we approach it? Okay. What if let's try one, one of them. Let's try fixing this one. Okay. okay. So just making a wild attempt to fix this one by proposing It has a suggestion. I don't know if this will be acceptable to us or not, but let's try it. Okay, so here is the text that, no, where was it? <laughs> okay, this is that embedded fix missing Five, six, icons. Nine, so it's yes, this one. one right here, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so that's what we are proposing should be changed. And our proposed change 
looks like this. Need to remove the image from the change log file. The images from the change log file. Okay, so here's our proposed. The trouble is that that works fine for this one that stays in the same place. It doesn't work for a case where we need to move something from one place to another. Mm, right, I mean, right. I guess it does. We have to do a delete and an insert then, and that's really kind of painful. Mm. But let's let's how about if we, let's try this technique and see if mm -hmm. we can if we can see if it's tolerable. Okay, yes. so this one I think was not changed, right? The 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 modification from mods Jacobson. Where did it go? Okay, mods Jacobson. This how one this? we didn't yes. modify that, did we? No, just a full stop, I think. Okay, so then let's go to, so we've talked, covered these. So now this one. Okay, so this is the JNA one. And it, now the problem is, Jenkins 5682. Okay, so what what Tim says, we should add a change log entry to that, but okay, Tim says need to add to this, if so, which to me says he's expecting us to put in upgrade guidelines, but I don't know how to make the upgrade guidelines create a reference. So let's do, well, back to the question. How do we create a, pull request that has this content. So proposed change log entries, proposed upgrade guidelines. Okay. All right. So proposed change log entry was we had it right here, didn't we? Proposed change log entry was this. and no upgrade guidelines. I'm a little nervous not having that right there. So here's the proposed comment and proposed upgrade guidelines. Does that make sense in terms of trying to do what Tim's recommending here? I think yes. Okay, so still for me, it'd be much clearer if we just insert into this thing, mm -hmm. our proposal. We think it should be this. So the reason why you edited the message for that pull request in the next step is because so that the, the generator can take it from there, right? That was that was my hope. I was actually just trying to follow Tim's advice, mm -hmm. and and I'm not sure which will win here, right? It may be that our proposed edits will win. Mm -hmm. It may be that instead the tool 
always copies from from the original, and therefore um, our edits will be completely discarded. And I, I don't know which will actually happen. I think it will copy from the original, maybe. Yeah, that's I, I think I think you're probably right. I just don't know if I, I am not not certain. So let's see, type category developer authors. Okay, so we should insert right above references that PR title. Nope. Okay, so PR title, bump JNA. Okay, so this is one experimental way to see if we can, we could make it honor our change. But this didn't put it in the correct location. Right. Okay, back to where we were. Let's go on to the next one. That's this internal one. And it, is it all the way at the end? No, it's somewhere earlier. It's right here. Okay, so that's what we had proposed as the text for it. This is saying internal code and class loader. Okay, now I'm not sure what, what I'd propose is let's try this as a test drive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna finish the review and then okay. go ahead and commit the suggestions. Now it may mm -hmm. be that, that needs the changes we've proposed. And so I'm just doing it as a comment, submit the review. Now I'm gonna actually go in and add the suggestions to a batch. Whoops, have to use the right view. Add the suggestions to a batch. Okay, now I'm going to commit the suggestions. I think it will allow me. So uh, apply code review changes, mark, wait, Diraj, Sinjoda and Meg McRoberts. Whoops. Now, why did it not get rid of, oh, refresh. This should have gotten rid of that image stuff, which it did. Okay, so now. Yes. Okay, so okay. And I have to delete. that. Now, if we do a GHPR checkout, so now let's compare this and this. 
Did we get everything? Okay, what we didn't get was we didn't change the ordering of things. And we lost the PR title here in that change, which you had said is actually not preserved. So that should be okay. Yes, it's so, okay. So the next thing we need to do then is we need to change the ordering. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that from the GitHub interface. So what, we're, what we need to do is we need to delete this developer RFE and this internal. So we've got to do this, come on. Okay, we've got to take this one here. Cancel, cancel. Okay, my unskilled use. Okay, this needs to be marked for deletion. Whoops, nope. Like that. And then it needs to be inserted here. Right? Does, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so I think this is a terribly painful process way to edit the, <laughs> the uh, change log. But let's try it and see if it works. So we're going to finish the review. Move. Let me Jacob. What's that? Either Jacob, uh, Jacob's entry. I think we didn't put the full stop in the end. Oops, oops. Okay. Same. What did I miss? Uh, there's an entry by Jacob, as you mentioned, about this one aborted code threshold to reverse trigger build. In that, oh, we don't it... have full stop. Line one, it's, two, three, nine, seven. So this, oh, right. You're right. I see what you're saying. So this one from line, Jan Faracik needs to move up above uh, this one from Mads Jacobson. You're right. Did, did I understand your, your observation correctly? Uh, we might need to look at the ordering, but I was specifically talking about line number one, two, three, nine, seven. Okay. There this we don't one. Have Yes. The full stop is missing, I think, right? Oh, oh, the full stop is missing. I see what you're saying. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Right. It, you are correct. It is. Got it. Okay. okay. All right. That's a uh, thank you. Got that. But I think isn't even it mm -hmm. even worse that we've got an RFE first and then a bug. And I think what we observed is the preference is bugs first then RFEs. Mm. Yes. So this thing needs to be deleted from its current location and it needs to be inserted in this one at the very top, like that. Okay, so what that says is bug in the top, RFE, full stop added, full stop added, bug moved up, Mm. And then developer and internal. Okay, so I think we're ready for uh, um, yes. adjust locations of um, change log items. Okay, and now we're going to have to do the same 
trick again of add to batch, add to batch, add to batch, add to batch. And now commit the changes from the batch. Reorder sections of 2.309 change log. Okay, now back to our command line. Let's see if it. Okay. And now let's try a diff. And the only difference there is we didn't carry forward the PR title and we added a blank line. So if I do a make run, we should be able to see it and it should look correct. This was a terribly painful way to do the task. Okay, I think it is still showing us what we wanted to see. But we were relying on my permissions to make those kinds of edits. Okay, I think what I'm gonna to have to do is talk to Tim tomorrow to see how he envisions this being edited. So it may be that what he's expecting is that we'll go edit the pull requests and make them better somehow. And then the tool will automatically read from the, pull the improved pull request description. So do we want to run locally and do the edits or do you want to edit directly on the PR that is on uh, the rep repository? Uh, I think we would prefer to run locally, but I don't know how to push the changes once we've mm. run locally. Yes. So it doesn't make sense to eliminate the part where we don't have to run locally, right? So you won't be able to see what is wrong and how does it look like eventually. I, and I, I don't think we can eliminate the run locally because without the run locally, we would have missed that there was a picture, at least I would have missed that there was a picture embedded in the change log. Right. Yes, makes sense. Now, now better editing of the change logs, better, better, yeah, better editing of the commit messages can avoid that, but humans are human and they make mistakes. Right. Okay. So this one, I think, I think 2.309 is, is reasonable. I think we're ready to switch to look at 2.308, but I apologize, we've largely run out of time. Um, Diraj, would you like to try something similar for 2.308 and propose it as a separate pull request? Do you, do you have time to do that? Or is this, have we run out of your time as well? Uh, I mean, right now or offline? Offline, I was just thinking offline without, without so if, if you've got capacity to do it, I would love to have someone else attempt an edit. Otherwise, I can look at it tomorrow, you know, in the next 24 hours. Right. So since this has already been published, already been published on the website. So it's just a practice for us, right? To edit Co it. Well, it's it's not not just a practice in that I think mm -hmm. this change log is really bad, right? I think it's yes. this is this is a change log that we want to mm -hmm. fix. And, and, but we can do those fixes just by proposing a pull request to, to, mm. to repair it. So it, it doesn't have to, this doesn't require any special permissions. You can do it, I can do it, um, Meg could do it, anybody could do that pull request. Okay, so I'll, I'll try it today, sure. Okay, well, and, and if it doesn't work out for you or you run out of time, don't hesitate to stop 
will I'll I can take a look at it. Just post a message in the in the Gitter chat. Hey, ran out of time. Yes, and also I was having some problem with uh, generating it locally due to GitHub issues. I don't know why. So oh. if that doesn't work, I let you know as well. Okay. Also, yes. If if anything blocks you, don't worry about it. Just note it and. And if I if I haven't seen a pull request from you by end of my day tomorrow, I'll probably work on it anyway. Okay, sure. All so, right. so should I tell you in um, Gitter or IRC? Gitter either is, is fine. Uh, either okay. either is fine. I have to check both of them. So whichever one you're in, use that one. I'm mainly active in IRC. IRC is great then. Good choice. And last question is, should I be texting you on any channel because I'm only on Jenkins release or should I DM you? What, what no, best? Jenkins release. In fact, Jenkins release is perfect because mm -hmm. that's one of the two ch IRC channels that I monitor. And it's a low traffic okay. channel that Tim sees. So, so it's a very mm -hmm. good choice as far as I'm concerned. Awesome. So I'll text you there. Great. Great. All right. Thanks, I'm back, just in time to say goodbye. Well, yeah. thanks, Diraj, and thanks, Meg. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and stop thanks, the share, Mark. and we'll call it done for today. Yes. Okay, Bye, I don't forget minutes. Oh, right. I'll, Bye. I'll put some notes. Thank you. See you, everybody.